Hey everybody, how we doing? So, start off with those quick clickers. I'm selling Key West art. Focusing on fishing, local artists, a little better than my own artwork here. Here's some examples. Boom, they're uh, eight and a half by 11 prints with 11 by 14 frame, matte frame. Uh, I'm gonna be selling them for $25 for the month of December, free shipping. Regular price is 30. You buy them on the tourist street shops, they run you 40. So it's a very good deal. So some samples there. We got the original one is a snook. Then we got the tarpon. Got the sailfish. And then we've got the snook and the mangroves. I also have a bunch of standard Key West style artworks as well. So check it out in the allaboutthebait.com category, Key West art. Now hang around if you want the longer drawn out explanation. Hey everybody, how we doing today? So I'm an artist. Well, sort of. I'm going to sell it. Not that. But in my All About the Bait store, I'm going to have a new category and it's going to be titled Key West Art. And what it's going to be about is it's going to focus on local Key West well, our Florida Keys artist, and specifically tailoring towards fishing art. Now, I've been working on this for about three or four months, and I started off by going to the tourist shops, seeing something that I like, and then trying to backtrack to the actual artist, going to the galleries, going to the artist co-ops, and, and just basically asking around who's doing what and so forth. Um, it was kind of a struggle because a lot of the artists, they know the, the tourist industry side of it. And then you have the ones that know the galleries, the foo-foo-y side of it. But for what I was doing, having the large YouTube social media presence, having my related store and that fishing genre, I, I was not having a lot of luck on that. Well, I got very lucky about a month ago and ran into an artist named Ray Rolston. Um, I actually met him out at Mallory Square during the sunset celebration. He was out there selling his artwork. Now, I've, I've seen him around town all the time, but doing some research on him, he's actually a very famous artist for, for the Florida Keys and Key West. Um, you'll see his uh, art in the uh, government buildings and the, the big businesses like AT&T, Comcast. He's in all the, the, uh, the gallery shows. He's all in the tourist shops. Um, but on the flip side, well, the news articles, magazines, books, he's got his own books. Um, but, uh, the thing that clicked with me is that he was out there peddling his stuff right there in the tourist crowds at that Mallory square. And part of that was that he was saying was, well, he could make more money selling $40 at a time than risking it and just doing a museum style piece and hoping someone buys it for $5,000 or whatnot. And that's kind of what I liked. And then uh, we talked a bit and he was like, yeah, I'm all into that. So we set a meeting and got together and I was telling him what I was looking for. And he's all, yeah, that's me. He was showing me a couple of his, his uh, fishing stuff, but he didn't have a lot. But he was saying, no, really, though, that was my thing when I first came to the Keys. Uh, he was a diver, so he liked the underwater stuff. And that's a lot of his artwork focused on, as well as like the fishing related well, over Thanksgiving, he went back up uh, to see family and uh, he stopped by his studio in uh, Fort Lauderdale and uh, he brought down a bunch of his old uh, artwork that were like um, original artwork that he had finished, but he wanted to, to clean up. There was stuff he had started but never finished. And then on top of that, this last month, he's been actually redoing brand new uh, artworks just off of thinking about it. I was actually there today picking up some of these prints and then he had a, two uh, new uh, pieces of art with basically one paintbrush in one hand, one in the other, and that artist thing, oh, I want to change this. If I do this and get the spectrum here, get more dimensionality here, and just really into it. It really fired him up getting back into this. And I also learned that since he started doing this, uh, a lot of the galleries were all like, yeah, we want the fishing stuff too. So he's been punching out more of these uh, fishing style prints. So I guess it's just kind of one of those deals. But anyways, let me uh, show you some of his stuff. Um, this is Ray here. This is one of his uh, books there that he's created. It's got a lot of his artwork there. 
But uh, yeah, let me show you what uh, types of his products that I'm going to be offering. And this will be a good example, and I was lucky to start off with a very good one, but kind of what I'm going to be doing in this category for later on. But anyways, let me show you what we've got. Okay, let me show you what we've got. Now, these are some of his prints that are based off of his full-size originals. They're printed on actual canvas paper, so it gives that kind of ripply effect, so it looks like an actual painting. Uh, the, the size of the actual print is 8.5 by 11, and the uh, matte frame is 11 by 14, and it's like a hard uh, foam board there. And then it's in a cellophane wrapper to kind of give it as protection. Uh, pricing wise for these are, is uh, if you go to the little higher scale uh, uh, galleries, they'll sell these for $40, $45. Uh, Ray sells these on the Tourist Pier for $35. Uh, he's got them on his website for $30. I'm going to kind of match that at $30 as well, except for the month of December, Christmas time, perfect gift. Uh, I'm going to knock it down to $25. So that's $25 free shipping. And uh, this one is his uh, artwork, which is kind of like a snook in the mangroves. Uh, very similar styles to my artwork here. So they're, they're very similar styles, as you can tell. So very competitive. I, I just don't have the time to put my prints into prints, but uh, possibly down the road. But uh, anyways, that's the uh, snook in the mangroves there. I've got four fishing ones right now, and then eight just the tourist Key West ones, um, the Caribbean style ones. Uh, he was saying, yeah, you like those, you want those, but you gotta remember what people out there might also want, and which is, is, is his top seller, so I've got eight of those as well. And the other two that he was working on, he should finish up this weekend, and I'll have those on the side as well. Then you've got this one here. You've got the sailfish there. And I actually saw this one when it was just a sail. This is like a week or two ago, like two weeks ago, and it was just a sail. And then he added everything else there. And you can kind of see right here is kind of like this little uh, spaceship there. That's a Hemingway's uh, stilt house out in the northwest, uh, northwest passage area up here. Um, and then you've got his uh, pillar, his boat. So if you know Hemingway, that's kind of his uh, little background in there. This is another one that just started off with a, the tarpon. He had the tarpon drawn, but he didn't have anything else, and he added everything, um, and including the fly, because I was telling him I'm kind of like the bait, all about the bait. So he went ahead and added a fly there, kind of making more of the sport fishing. So that's a tarpon. Have another snook here. Uh, one thing I'll add is that uh, all of them are signed in the actual painting, so it's on the print. But then he also autographs and dates uh, all of these as well. So they've got the year and then uh, his uh, autograph on there. So those are the four fishing specific ones that I'm going to focus on primarily. But these are his suggestions, so I went ahead and got some of these as well to fill out the uh, initial category. So we've got this general underwater Disney kind of where's finding emo or whatever that guy little fish is there. But uh, that one's there. Nemo, Finding Nemo. And you've got like the Keys Canal. The QS colors. This is actually, yeah, on his uh, book jacket as watches his front page of the, the book, the cover. So that's that uh, picture there. These are those uh, poinsettia trees that are very famous for QS because whenever they bloom, they're just a super red. And so it's a, basically a tree on fire. It's just a red with all the blooms out there, but that's a very famous. Uh, these are actual um, houses where all these are done. So he's got quite a few of them. They, a lot of artists do this. They just go find a house that they want because it's that Key West kind of living and then they just do a, a drawing or a, a painting of it. This is a landmark, Captain Tony's. Um, and then you can see the big Goliath grouper there. What you do is you stand underneath with your back towards it, 
and then you overhand uh, quarters and try to get it into his mouth. And another Key West house. This one is actually, um, Ray is actually my neighbor. That was the other way I kind of found him is that he's just, uh, just two blocks over, two streets over. Uh, but this is one of our local neighborhoods here where I live. So that's one of those house styles there. Kind of like my cottage that I live in. This one everyone will know. This is the southernmost point. Very popular there. Got the roosters. That's kind of like, I think almost all of his pictures have a, a rooster in it. As you can tell by my videos, they're always in the background. And then this one here is uh, at our uh, local park here. It's a very famous little stand because it's the mile markers which shows 3,000 miles to wherever, 1,000 from here and so forth. Uh, at uh, Fort Taylor Park right here on the edge of Key West there. Uh, but that's that one there. So all of those are available on the allaboutthebait.com website. Uh, I'm going to package them in these nice hard mailers, get them out to you if you're interested. They're regular price $30 on special through Christmas for $25 free shipping. And uh, if you're interested in uh, some other landmarks, you could always let me know. Just go to the uh, allaboutthebait at yahoo.com and just say, hey, Get me one of the Hog's Breath Saloon or something like that. And he's got them because he hits all the major landmarks. And I can probably get that for you. But uh, otherwise, yeah, check those out. Don't forget the special for the shirts are still running. Any shirt on the website. And uh, you get a free neck mask, uh, face mask, fishing buff, whatever you want to call it. Just remember, some people are not understanding as those. I think because they don't watch the videos, but they just go to the website. But... The code will only work, free mask, in the discount code at the uh, when you check out, all together, one word, only works if you add the mask. Okay, so you pick a shirt, go to the mask category, pick a mask, and then when you check out, enter free mask in the discount code, and I'll cut the price off for that mask. If you don't do that, you just order a shirt, boom, I pick out a mask based on where you live and try to match it up, and then you get one anyway, so no worries there. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. And I will have this artwork on sale for 15000 maybe? <laughs> All right, bye.